Thank you for viewing the video. Today's session will be about using the machine learning model within CDD Vault. It's based on the Bayesian learning algorithm with the FCFP6 fingerprints. To begin, I'm going to utilize the collections and select my training set molecules. I've already read in two separate collections, the good and the bad collections. Again, these are traditionally the inhibitors and non-inhibitors, but certainly doesn't have to be excluded only to that. You can see I have 30, 33 uh, good molecules to build my model, and simply selecting the build models command, I can then select my baseline, which would be the uh, rest of the training set, the, the non-inhibitors. I just need to give the protocol a name and select the project and hit save. In a matter of seconds, the model is already built and is available for use. I can select the link to view the output of the model. First thing to note is that we give you a lot of detail in the protocol details command. First thing is to showcase here is the different links to, for additional information on the fingerprints as well as the Bayesian model and the original references. Secondly, we provide an ROC or receiver operator curve for you to provide some analysis on the output. ROC plots are based on a true positive and false positive rates, the sensitivity and specificity. In this example, we have an area under the ROC curve of 0.9, which is a, a nice number for uh, the type of modeling that we're doing today. Next, you can see a representation of the training sets, the good and the others, or bad. And lastly, the readout definition. So automatically, you get three columns of information, score, applicability, and similarity. Relative score, higher is always better. Applicability is the fraction of structural features within our training set. And the similarity is a value that you can use to understand how uh, the coverage of the good molecules that you're testing. So this gives you the, the output. And here's the readouts of my training set, the 163 is a combined good and bad molecules. You can sort my column to get a range of the score. As one would expect, the applicability and similarity are, are one for our training set. By sorting on the column, we can easily get a range. You can see in this data set, we're roughly about 60 on the positive side and you know, minus 20 or so on the negative side. So it gives you a good range right out of the gate. Applicability and similarity are also sortable. Once we have provided some information uh, regarding our training set, we're now ready to share that model to other projects. It's very simple to do. One area is to go to the Protocols tab and then change the Manage Project Access and simply select the projects you'd like to test this model across those molecules. After a few seconds, it'll be available. All the calculations are done in the background and on the fly. For this example, I'll just showcase the screening ABC. Look at the protocol. and view the readouts. Once again, it looks like about 160 structures in this data set. I can sort accordingly and focus on the molecules of interest. Typically, again, looking at the ones with a higher score. And also wanted to analyze how much coverage we have of the features by applicability and, of course, whether or not it's covered in our good set, too, uh, for your analysis. Thank you for viewing the video.